Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a yoga pose tutorial on low lunge pose or Anjaneyasana. Anjaneyasana is great for opening up the hips and also helping you to earn some balance. So feel free to go through the video with me and do the pose as I do it. Um, I'm just going to provide some tips on how to do your best low lunge or Anjaneyasana. So we'll begin in down dog. And from here, we're going to lift our right leg, inhale, exhale, step it up in between the hands and come down on that left knee. Now you can keep the back toe tucked or you can untuck it. For this one, we're going to untuck our back toe. We want to make sure our knee is nice and aligned over our ankle. So we're pressing into both feet and we're also kind of thinking of this magnetic pull between both feet. So making sure you're nice and stable and then begin to sweep your arms up. We want to keep our shoulders relaxed, but extend through the arms. So as you're in your Anjaneyasana, Think about rounding your tailbone down and pulling your pubic bone in and upward. Deepening into the stretch. And again, pressing into that, toe, into that front foot and back foot, but you should be able to wiggle your toes. And then if you're comfortable, you can always do a small Back bend here, opening the heart even more. Making sure our chest is open in this posture. Let's try on the other side. So we'll just step back to table pose, come up to down dog again. Lift the left leg and step it up in between the hands. Let's come down on the back knee. Bring the top of the back foot flat, left knee aligned over our ankle. Think about that magnetic pull between both of our feet. And we're gonna sweep our arms up, shoulders relaxed, arms extended, pinkies are kind of facing forward, chest is open, round your tailbone down, lift in and up in the front. Feeling nice and stable and grounded. Feel free to deepen even more down into the hips if you like. And if this hurts your shoulders or if reaching is hard for you, you can always keep your hands resting on your knee. And another great modification, if you wanna get a stretch in the front quad of the other foot, you can scoot back close to a wall Bring, letting the back foot rest up against the wall and coming to your low lunge this way. So that pretty much completes our low lunge or our Anjana Yasana tutorial. Let me know what poses you would like me to do another tutorial on. Let me know what you think of this video down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.